This is B- BYU Sports Network. Back in Morgantown, top of the seventh inning, West Virginia leading BYU 6 to nothing in BYU's very first Big 12 baseball game. Cooper Vest is back at the plate, a pop out and a walk so far for him as Aiden Major continues to throw a gem for West Virginia, comes in high with ball one. Let's look at our big O tires on the rubber. And Major with six innings of work in so far. Two hits, five strikeouts, just the one walk to Vest. He comes in for ball two. Much different story on the BYU side. Hanson gives up six runs in four and a third innings. As Vest goes to right field, hits it far, back to the track, and it is gone. Home run for Cooper Vest. And the Cougars are on the board. And Vest, his fourth home run on the year. A monster shot, no doubter, to right field out in the West Virginia bullpen. And Vest finally tags Major. And the Cougars are on the board at 6-1. to one. That home run brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you game plan for life, Zions right, Bank Cahillo is for Aloy. you. Now Cahillo Aloy. And he goes after one with the first swing and a miss. The ground out and a fly out for Aloy. So Vest goes out to right field. And here's Aloy. And this one into the gap in front of the right fielder as it curved close to right field. A base hit for Aloy. So back-to-back hits for BYU. And the first hit of the day for the freshman out of Maui. That one was hit to center and then it just tailed right. Bounced in front of right fielder Ben Lumsden. So here's Easton Jones. Another power hitter for BYU. A home run and then a single. Off the plate, ball one. So for the first time today, Major is showing that he's human. Looks over at first base. And then Jones, this one to left, and he got all of that one. Back to the warning track, to the wall, off of the wall. Aloy had to stay at first base, so he'll just get to second. First and second, and Easton Jones missed a two-run home run by a matter of feet. Had it been five yards to the right or to the left, it would have cleared the wall. But he hit the portion of the wall that's an advertisement that's higher than any other place on the wall. Hit it off that part of it so it stayed in the park. And now we've got a meeting on the mound with Randy Mazie, the head coach and pitching coach for West Virginia. Three straight hits for BYU. A long single by Jones that was so close to being out of here. Aiden Major is going to stay in the game. He's allowed just one run. And that just a few moments ago when Cooper Vest knocked it out to right field. So Brock Watkins comes to the plate. He's 0 for 2. And BYU trying to put something together here down 6 to 1 in the seventh inning with nobody out and two on. Watkins looks at a strike. One for three on Tuesday in Las Vegas. 0 for 2 so far today. But this is the most life the BYU's offense has shown this afternoon. Aloy's at second. Ball inside as Easton Jones is over at first. Now, Aloy is a freshman, and a sophomore or a junior would have probably been closer to second base on that fly ball and had a chance to get to third when it went off the wall. But he was just a few feet off first base watching it go. And that's why he's at second instead of third. Fouled back, and the count is one and two to Watkins. Major in with the pitch. Watkins goes to left field. That one's going to hang up in the clouds and into the glove of Tyler Cox, and all the runners stay put. Looked good initially off the bat and then turned into a routine fly ball out there left field. 
Crew Robinson. Robinson at the plate now. He's got some pop to his bat. And the Mountaineers will shift their defense for the lefty. With runners at first and second. Robinson 0 for 2 so far today. Here's the pitch. It's inside. Oh, it, hit. it hit part of his leg. And the bases are loaded. A gift by Aiden Major. And Randy Mazie's out to talk with the home plate umpire to check on what it was that hit Crew Robinson. Must have been his pant leg because he didn't flinch at all. But now Keone Painter is up. He's one for two today. A single and a long fly out. Now the freshman, an opportunity to make a big difference here on the road in the Big 12. And a half swing for strike one. The kind of swing that makes you think halfway through you shouldn't be swinging. One out, base is loaded. Defensive shift is on. Three on the right side of the infield. Another beautiful pitch by Major. Down the middle, 0-2. Leadoff man Luke Anderson is on deck. Major comes in. Painter fouls it down the line and out of play. He's got some moxie, this redshirt freshman out of Kula, Hawaii. 0 and 2 with bases loaded. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Overmatched by Aiden Major. And now Luke Anderson will come to the plate with the bases loaded and two outs. Everybody will be running to the crack of the bat. Anderson will hit a double down the left field line his last time up. BYU got some timely hits in their win Tuesday at UNLV. This would be another one of those moments. Outside ball one. Activity down in the West Virginia bullpen. 6-1 6-1 to one, Mountaineers. Bases loaded for BYU with two outs here in the seventh. Major delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one the count to Anderson. Boy, BYU would love the double. He hit his last time up right now. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew it right past him. One and two. Now here comes the crowd. They've been on their seats for a while. It's been kind of a snoozer. Here's the big moment. One-two pitch with bases loaded and two outs. And Anderson fouls it back. Then we'll have another big moment. Major adjusts his hat. Gets it just right. Steps on the rubber. Here comes the crowd. Anderson at the plate. One-two pitch. Here it comes. Into right field. And it's back to the track. Just shy of the wall. And into the glove of Ben Lumsden. That close to a grand slam. Instead, the Cougars leave three. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's six to one Mountaineers. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Cougars Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back in Morgantown, West Virginia, leading BYU 6-1, bottom of the seventh inning. And some drama a moment ago with bases loaded, Luke Anderson hitting it to the warning track in right field. And it was caught by Ben Lumsden, and that was that. And now things have kind of settled down. Gubler. Back on the mound for BYU. Throws ball one to Ellis Garcia. Garcia is one for three with a single and a pair of flyouts. Ball two inside. This one to left field. That one's hit hard. Anderson back to the track and it's gone. Home run. Ellis Garcia, his first of the season. And the run BYU worked so hard to get back has been taken back. 
And a home run by Garcia at 7 to 1. A no doubter to left field. Anderson retreating to the track and then turned and watched it sail over his head. Kyle West up for West Virginia. And now Kyle West comes to the plate. West has a single, a strikeout, and a ground out today. We've seen some big hits. Most of BYU's have stayed in the park. But Vest got one to jump out. Now Watkins scoops it up over where second base plays and throws out West as the Cougars had the shift on. One away. Now Tyler Cox. Tyler Cox for West Virginia. Walk a single and a strikeout. Gubler looks in, winds it up, and throws off the plate, ball one. In for ball two as uh, Tyler Cox flashes bunt and then pulls out of it. pitch from Gubler. This one's fouled down the line past Cooper Vest. Two and one. Here's the pitch outside. Now three and one. Cox, a junior out of Westbury, New Jersey. Haven't seen a lot of action before today. Looks at a strike. The count goes full. Three-two pitch from Peyton Gubler. And this one's in the center field. Good piece of hitting. From Tyler Cox, and he's got his second hit of the afternoon. And it's a one out single here in the seventh. Number 41, Michael Peraza. Michael Peraza pinch hitting here in the seventh for West Virginia. We mentioned. The Mountaineers star player, J.J. Weatherholt, not playing due to a hamstring injury. We don't expect him in this series, especially with the weather the, like the way it is. The reigning Big 12 player of the year. When they get him back, they'll have uh, enough to go make a case and defend their piece of the Big 12 title from a year ago. Want to know the count to Peraza. Runner goes. Hit and run is on. Peraza's into left field. Anderson's got it. He'll throw it in to second base. Two down. Spencer Barnett. Next up for West Virginia. Now Barnett returns. He has been a thorn in BYU's pitching side today with three walks. He's up with two outs here in the seventh. Gubler looks over to first. Tyler Cox is there. He comes home. Throw, <coughs> excuse me, throws outside for ball one. Now he readies. Here comes the second pitch. Gets the corner for a strike. One and one. Six of the seven runs attached to Ben Hansen. The seventh run has Gubler's fingerprints all over it. Here's a steal, and the ball goes into center field. But Cox holds up and gets back to the bag at second. Reuters throw offline. And now the count's 2-1-1 with Cox in scoring position. 
And Barnett at the plate. Goobler looks back at second, comes home. Barnett in the left field. Cox will turn the corner at third. He'll come in to score. And it's 8-1 to one, West Virginia. Barnett found a way to make BYU hurt some more. Three walks and now an RBI single. Now Brody Kresser, the leadoff man for the Mountaineers, comes to the plate. Eight runs on 12 hits. BYU one run on five hits. And Barnett's over at first base where he's been all afternoon. Inside pitch from Goobler, ball one. A couple of arms out in the BYU bullpen, getting loose. A defensive struggle until the bottom of the fifth in a one-run game. Goobler throws a strike, one and one. This is a pretty cool ballpark. 1-1 one, one pitch. And it hits him. And he goes to first. West Virginia shares this field with a development team. This used to be when you got drafted the major league draft you came here after the draft in June and you played all summer played for the Bears Bears signs all over the place along with the Mountaineers this uh, ballpark right on the river nestled here in the middle of Morgantown Sam White no this is Spencer King at the plate White's on deck And he looks at ball one. King with three hits on the day, including a successful bunt. Goobler comes in. Check swing. Didn't go. 2-0. and Eight to one, Mountaineers. They just slowly separated themselves here today from BYU. Fouled off his foot. Two outs here in the inning. And two runs are in for the Mountaineers. Two and one to count. Temperature dropping as we speak. Here's the pitch from Goobler. Popped up. Watkins calls for it, backs up and drops it, and a run scores. He called off Easton Jones. Watkins had to run over from second base where the switch was on. Called off Jones and then lost it in his momentum. Bounced over his head for the first air of the game for the Cougars. It's now 9-1. to one. Usually the shortstop kind of reigns over the infield, but Deaston Jones probably had the better play on that one. Maybe not, but it appeared that way. As it went, it didn't go BYU's way. Now three runs are in in the inning, and Sam White's at the plate. Still the two outs. Goobler gets the corner for strike one. I don't think Trent Pratt wants to waste any more arms on this day. Just hoping Goobler can get out of the seventh. Outside, one and one the count. Outside, ball two. Two 
two and one. Misses the plate again, three and one. Runners at first and third. The pitch from Gubler, ball four, and the bases are loaded. Cressers over at third, King trots over to second. Sam White's at first, and that's going to be it for Gubler. We're back with the new arm after this. It's 9-1 to one West Virginia in the seventh. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Dave McCann. Back at Kendrick Park here in Morgantown, West Virginia. Jake Porter's the new arm for BYU, our PZ Printer pitching change. Brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. Just getting word from Duff Tittle back home that a double header has been scheduled for tomorrow between BYU and West Virginia. We're just clarifying when game one will start. And we'll let you know just as soon as I get a chance to stick my head out of the radio booth and, and find out. Bad weather's coming on Saturday, so we'll play two tomorrow. We'll also have it figured out as to how that affects our coverage of the second round of the Big 12 Women's Basketball Championships with BYU and Kansas, which starts at 4.30 Mountain Time. We're going to have baseball and then basketball, and now we're going to have two baseball games, and we'll, we'll figure all that out and keep you posted. But it'll be a doubleheader tomorrow with BYU and West Virginia. At the moment, the Mountaineers have blown game one open. They lead it 9-1. to one. Bases are loaded with two outs. Here at the bottom of the seventh, and Jake Porter is out of the bullpen, the fourth arm for BYU. And all of this while Aiden Major has just been sailing along, the uh, ace of the West Virginia staff. So Benjamin Lumsden is at the plate. Bases are loaded and two outs here in the seventh. And Porter comes in, fouled back into the screen. Lumsden's day started. He hit into a double play with a screamer down to Cooper Vest. Then a line drive to Vest. He walked. He struck out. Now he's back. A base hit here will give him a a little bit of everything. 0-1-1. Here's Porter's pitch. Off the plate, 1-1. Porter delivers. A roller over to Watkins at second. On to first. And the inning comes to an end, but not before. The Mountaineers add three more. We've played seven here in Morgantown. Nine to one, West Virginia. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar Baseball, let's rejoin Dave McCann. Back in Morgantown, Dave McCann, BYU, and West Virginia, the Big 12 opener, and the Mountaineers have opened it up with a 9-1 lead. Here in the top of the eighth inning, and a little clarification now for tomorrow, it'll be a doubleheader with game one at 2 o'clock Eastern time. That is Noon Mountain, right here on BYU Radio. Breiker Herdsman is at the plate for BYU here in the top of the eighth inning. And he fouls off the first pitch. And Aiden Major just keeps motoring along for West Virginia. Cougars loaded the bases, ended the inning with a fly ball to the warning track. Last inning when it was a 6-1 to game. And then the Mountaineers countered with three. 
Swing and a miss by Herdsman. Strike two. Major just five hits allowed through seven innings. And the one run, a home run by Cooper Vest. One two pitch. And Herdsman watches it go by for strike three. This is Breiker's first taste of Big 12 pitching last year with Utah Tech. Now Reuter. 0 for 3 so far today. Infield shift is on. He had three Mountaineers to the left to second base. And Major is continuing to throw smoke. Strike one. Over 100 pitches. Reuter into center field. Hits a line drive, and it gets past Skyler King, who misjudged it. Rolls all the way to the wall. Reuter's going to turn the corner at second base and head to third with a stand-up triple. Colin Reuter's first hit of the day. And that was misplayed off the bat by King. He rolled to his left. The ball was tailing to its right. Went right past him. So a triple for Reuter. With one out here in the eighth. And here's Cooper Vest, who homered to right field his last time up. Now the Mountaineers will shift three infielders to the right side of the infield. As Vest looks at strike one. And Spencer Barnett, the second baseman, is backing up into shallow right field. Colin Reuter over at third. Here's the pitch by Major. And Vest fouls it back. Now down in the count 0-2. Here comes the pitch. Fouled back again. Best last season hit 359, second best on the team, right behind Austin Deming. And Deming went to the Astros. And, and now working through that system. So that brings Vest back as the hot bat from last year. This one nearly comes into our press box. And the screen is just low enough where foul balls can come right into us. And that one got little too close for comfort. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And Major strikes out Vest. And that'll send Alloy to the plate with Reuter still over at third. 108 pitches and still cruising along. Just one walk today. Big cut by Alloy. Swing and a miss. But one thing that Trent Pratt knew his Cougars would see is better pitching once they got into the Big 12. They're seeing it today. Half swing by Alloy. Strike two. It has been quite the show. By Aiden Major. 0-2 to Alloy. Here it comes. Way outside. An adrenaline pitch. Now he'll get ready and do it again. 1-2 pitch to Alloy on its way. And Alloy goes to left field. Hits a bomb to left field. It's long gone. Might have made the street out there. And the freshman rocks his fourth home run of the year. It's a two-run shot. And uh, that brings a gasp out of the crowd. A no-doubter as soon as it left the bat. And it's now 9-3. to three. And you can kind of still feel the buzz. And Aloy... Heads to the dugout. 
And uh, he'll live for another day as the Cougars are back at it tomorrow. Now 9-3. to three, Two outs here in the eighth. Easton Jones nearly got one out of here his last time up. Takes a check swing for a strike. Hit it off the wall in left field. Now he tags one to left. That one's hit hard. That one's back. That's a home run into the BYU bullpen. Back-to-back home runs from Aloy. And now Easton Jones. And that's the third home run of the year for Jones. And it's 9-4. to four. And that's going to be it for Aiden Major. He has run out of gas here in the eighth inning. But what a performance. And he's certainly on track for his third win of the year. But he gets roughed up here in the eighth. Still no sign to the bullpen yet from Coach Randy Macy. They're going to leave him out there. 114 pitches. So Brock Watkins comes to the plate. Number two, the fact that it's 50 degrees, I think, is the perfect pitching conditions today. No chance of overheating. And so, Major continues and throws outside. Maybe Maisie said, all right, you got one more batter. You need one more out. Here comes the pitch. Watkins fouls it back, one and one. A towering blast by Aloy. And then a home run to left field by Jones. And a little life for BYU to build on for games two and three of the series tomorrow. Ball two. Crowd getting a little antsy at the home plate umpire. They'd like to see Aiden Major finish the inning and finish its day. Two and one. Fouled back, two and two. Well, BYU could have used a couple of those home runs earlier. They haven't had a lot of base runners. Missed a grand slam by a couple of feet back when it was a 6-1 game. But they got two long balls in this inning. Now Watkins over to the shortstop. Garcia on his way to first. And that's the inning. But BYU strikes for three on a pair of home runs. It's 9-4 to four Mountaineers. Bottom of the eighth coming up. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar Baseball, let's rejoin Dave McCann. Another PC pitching change brought to you by PC Printing. Nothing inspires like print. Max Stanley on the hill for BYU here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Mountaineers lead it 9-4. to four. The Cougars just struck for three in the top of the eighth. A towering two-run bomb by Cahillo Aloy. And then up next, Easton Jones hit a home run into the BYU bullpen out in left field. Dallas Garcia will lead it off for the Mountaineers. And Stanley throws inside for ball one. Stanley's the fifth BYU pitcher used so far today. This one way outside. Ball two. Comes the pitch. Ball three. Gubler gave up three runs during his stint. Olsen Porter didn't give up any out of the bullpen today. There's a strike on a 3-0 pitch by Stanley. Three and one. Garcia with a home run. His last at bat. And there's ball four outside. And a leadoff walk. For West Virginia. Yeah. 
Die West to the plate for West Virginia. Kyle West into the left batter's box. Has a hit today. His first look at Stanley. There's ball one. Stanley's got to find the strike zone. Looks over at first. Comes in with a good-looking pitch for a strike. Houston will be in Provo next weekend, the Big 12 home opener. Thursday, Friday, Saturday on BYU Radio and ESPN+. 1-1 pitch to West. Outside ball two. So Stanley... From the stretch, looks over at first base where Garcia is. Comes home outside. Ball three, three and one. And they already walked Garcia. Now he's in jeopardy of losing West. And the three one. Swing and a miss. And the count goes full. West was going for a long ball there with a huge swing. Now Stanley looks over at first. Back into home plate. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Reuter with the throw down to second. Gets into center field. So West strikes out. Garcia pulls up at third base. That's the second throw down to second base from Reuter that's gotten away and into the outfield. Now Tyler Cox comes back to the plate. And BYU's down by five after getting three in the top of the inning. And Mountaineers trying to get a couple back here. Cox with two singles today. Good pitch by Stanley for strike one. Popped up. A mile high, and Luke Anderson runs in from left field and makes the catch. Garcia can't tag. There's two away. Anderson's impressive with how much ground that he covers out in left field. He started the year in right, and actually in left, was in right, back to left. Cooper Vest was out in right, and he's gone to first base, and I think that's where he's going to stay. Peraza back to the plate. Left-handed batter. Looks at ball one from Stanley. Ball two. That one inside. Long wait by Stanley. Looks over at third base. Now comes home. Throws it way past Reuter, but so far past it bounces back, but not in time. Stanley was too slow to the plate. Good ball ricocheted behind the wall and came right back to Reuter. He turned around with plenty of time, but they just couldn't execute. Garcia's in, and it's 10 to 4. Three and oh. There's a strike to Peraza. So a mistake by BYU allows West Virginia to get one more across. The lead back to six. 3-1 pitch. Peraza to right field with some room out there. Bounces in front of Painter. 
He's going to second. Here comes the throw. It's not in time, and a double for Peraza. Barnett returns with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Three walks and a single. Peraz is at second. This one to left field. Anderson waits for it, makes the catch. Mountaineers leave one, but they get one. We go to the ninth inning here in Morgantown. It's 10 to 4, West Virginia. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Where does a journey to wellness begin? This is BYU Cougars Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back in Morgantown, top of the ninth inning, West Virginia leading BYU 10 to 4. Here's the battle plan for tomorrow. With it being a doubleheader now for Friday. Game one is at 2 o'clock Eastern time. That's noon Mountain Time. It'll be on the BYU Radio app and on 107.9 FM in Utah. Game two will be on the BYU Radio app only. With women's basketball starting at 4.30 Mountain Time. On the app and on 107.9 FM with the women taking on Kansas in the second round of the Big 12 Championships from Kansas City. So that's the plan for tomorrow. If you're into baseball and basketball, we got you covered on the BYU Radio app and on 107.9 FM in the great state of Utah. Strike one to Crew Robinson. Here in the top of the ninth inning, a six-run lead for West Virginia. There's a swing and a miss. And Robinson down to the count 0-2. Bryce Amos is on the hill for the Mountaineers and throws outside. The first time BYU's seen someone other than Aiden Major today. And he was outstanding. Certainly when it mattered most. One and two. Two and two now to Robinson. Amos delivers outside, ball three. Now, BYU is more than capable of scoring six runs in an inning. We saw them score 13 in the fourth inning at UC Davis. But that was against UC Davis pitching. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And Robinson strikes out. One away here in the ninth. Keone Painter back at the plate. A single, a fly out, and a strikeout. Back to back starts out in right field for Painter. And now he waits. Here it comes. Gets the corner. One and one. The pitch. Off the plate this time. Two and one. You hear the groan from the crowd. That was the same spot as the strike a moment ago. Here's the two one pitch. That one's way outside. Now three and one. We'll visit with Trent Pratt here after the game of the postgame show. Strike down the middle, three and two. Get his assessment of BYU's Big 12 opener. I have a feeling walks are going to come up in the conversation. Painter on a 3-2 pitch. Delivers a base hit into left field. His second hit of the day. A good piece of hitting for the youngster. Third hit on the year. And now Luke Anderson comes back. 
Anderson hit a double down the left field line. With bases loaded, he put one on the warning track right up against the wall and into the glove of Ben Lumsden in right field. As far as timely hits go, that was it for BYU. That was the moment. Now Anderson slaps a single into right. And Painter pulls up at second base. They're at first and second with one out. Two hits on the day for Luke Anderson. Breaker Hertzman next up for BYU. Hertzman 0 for 4 with a pair of strikeouts. He comes to the plate with one out. Right back up the middle, right to the pitcher. Over to second for one, on to first for two. And the game ends on a double play. And West Virginia takes game one of the series. BYU's Big 12 debut ends in a 10-4 loss to the Mountaineers here in Morgantown. Eight major was too tough to beat for BYU. Cougars got a couple of active bats here in the late innings. But what was a 1-0 juggernaut going into the bottom of the fifth? The Mountaineers put nine runs on the board after that, scattered over the last four innings. And they hold BYU to four, and that's the difference. Ten to four. We're back with a post-game show after this. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.